for that. Uh, the, <laughs> so, uh, kind of, if you're watching on YouTube and you're wondering what's happening, hey, we're the same over here. But basically, uh, this will <laughs> sift out the players into play, uh, into places between eight and fourteen, and. Uh, the points that they get here will go to their overall totals and maybe win some money. These points they get count to the money total, not the gross total. But that doesn't make sense at all, does it? Yeah, it never makes sense, Steve. Right. It never makes it's sense. battling from 8th to 14th. 8th to 14th. Right, right. These are longer questions, longer than we've had, and hopefully they start off hard, get easier. Um, so, this will start with the longest one, it'll get shorter. All right. Demolition expert Dio Guerrero keeps getting fired. The latest time for stealing some dynamite. He buys life insurance and plans to blow up himself and the Golden Argosy. Ada Quonset is an elderly lady who is a habitual stowaway. Mel Bakersfield is trying to hold together his failing marriage due to work commitments while growing closer with his right hand woman, TA TGA customer relations expert Tanya Livingston, played by Gene Seberg. George Kennedy plays Joe Petroni, a mechanic trying to move a plane stuck on runway 29. Serial adulterer Vernon Demarest impregnates and then falls for stewardess Gwen, played by English actress Jacqueline Bissett. Demarest is an experienced pilot, played by Dean Martin. Bakersfield is the airport. Airport. Yeah. 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 Is that one yeah. Is that one Steve yeah. Corbett's yeah. questions? <laughs> How many of you are at the flight path gliding yeah. down to that one? <laughs> that's, that's the longest questions. one. Although authorised by Cyrus... Reset, reset. Reset, reset. reset. Although authorised by Cyrus II the Great and completed in the reign of Darius I the Great in 515 BC, the second temple is known as which king's temple after he renovated and expanded it in 20 BC. He is also known as the Great, was the Roman client king of Judea at the time of the birth of... Chilton. Herod. Yep. Herod. Ah, you look short. A loose horse named Popham Down suddenly veered across the leading group at the 23rd fence, causing them to either stop, refuse, or unseat the riders. Out of this pile-up, one horse, a hundred... Roads, point Yeah. I, I was on that, but I didn't know where you were going with the question. I thought you'd get that. Byron's Pool is named after Lord Byron, who is said, by Rupert Brooke at least, to have swum there. Brooke lived at Orchard House, but later moved next door to the house that is now the home of Geoffrey Archer. In 1912, while in Berlin, Brooke wrote a poem of homesickness about his house named The Old Vicarage. This is all in which village in... <coughs> Colin? Grantchester. Yeah. Five years before his death in 1958, aged 85, his ashes interred in Westminster Abbey, who composed his Seventh Symphony, Antarctic Symphony? <coughs> Robin Williams. Yep. Who's that? Robin One explanation is that these creatures are common in the area. Another is that in 1238, when James I was about to enter the city, reconquering it from the Moors, this creature landed on top of his flag and he inter interpreted it as a good sign. He conquered the city, so this creature was added to the city's arms. Which creature is also seen at the top of the Valencia, Valencia FC badge? It famously uses echolocation. Asking for a species, mate. Asking for a species. <laughs> uh, I didn't even want to put that last bit in. Which island is home to Stonewall Inn, the site of the 1969 riots? Chinatown. Washington Square. <laughs> Colin? Staten Island. No. That's one. No. Really? Washington Square Arch, Columbia University, Little Italy, the Flatiron Building, Madison. <laughs> Fraser. Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a terrestrial and a celestial globe, a quadrant, a polyhedral sundial, a Lutheran psalm book, an arithmetic book, a lute, and an anamorphic skull are some of the objects seen alongside Jean de Dinterville and Georges de Selve, the title characters in which. Colin? The ambassadors. Yeah. Colin opening his legs and showing his glass. <laughs> I kissed thee, 
Ere I killed thee, no way but this, killed myself to die upon a kiss, are the last words of which character? He has just stabbed himself, and these are... Fraser? Romeo. No. <laughs> and these are his dying words. Earlier he had smothered his wife to death. Rhodes? No. Me. Minus one. Mike? It's a fellow, surely. It is. Can't fault it. The par 3 postage stamp is only a Kill him. Turnberry. No. Rhodes. True. Yeah. <laughs> what postage stamp is it? <laughs> Number 5. Dolphin, isn't it? Yeah. Right. A series of barracks tunnels underneath this castle built during the Napoleonic Wars were used by in World War Two as a Chilton Dover Castle. Very good. <laughs> Walking round the room singing stormy weather at fifty seven Mount Fraser Crowley Downs. Prompt. Prompt. Share the weather with me. Pardon? <laughs> Can I explain pardon to him? Pardon me, he didn't quite hear you. So he'll change your answer just a bit. <laughs> no. So don't give him any don't tell him. Mike. Weather with you. I prompted because I wanted the song, but I wasn't going to punish you on that. Right. In which country was there the emergency? A 21 month period from 1975 to 1977. When. Colin. India. Yep. Yeah. Showing some depth. Perhaps most famous for playing Lydia in Four Weddings and a Funeral. What is the name of the daughter of Eric Thompson and Felida Law? Colin. Never tops. No. One. Obviously not. <laughs> Chilton. Uh, June Law. <laughs> no, there's no one. Not June Law. Even the left of the. <laughs> June Law, no. Mike. No. No. Preston. No. Okay. Fraser. These are all minus one. These are all minus one. Wow. <laughs> and the Chancellor. No. Rhodes. Elizabeth. No. We've got anyone left to go. Is there anyone else? One, one to go, yeah. Who's that? Me. Alright, oh, okay. You can have the whole one. Uh, and sister of Emma Thompson, who also played. No. I'm very honest with you. Who also played Stella Crawford in East Enders. Sophie. Sorry, I thought you'd all finished. I'll say anyone when you're finished. Um, Varig was the first airline founded in which country in 1927? Chilton. Brazil. Oh, yeah. well done. A lecture he gave in 1878 in Newcastle was the first time a public building had been illuminated by electric light. His house in Gateshead was the first in the world to be lit by a light bulb. His lights were also used in the Savoy Theatre, the first public building to be lit entirely by electricity. <coughs> Uh, Strax. Swan. Yeah. <laughs> the, wind, the Winter Garden Glasshouse, the Peace Gardens, the Sheafs and Sheafswear are all to be found here. St Paul's Tower. Woods. St Paul's Tower Residential Development is the tallest building and 1960s Park Hill Council House in Colin Sheffield? Yep. Yeah, I, don't, I wonder if I one. Who was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1932 for the creation of quantum mechanics? He controversially led the German nuclear energy. Good. Max Planck. No. Drax. Preston. No, Preston. Amiga. Amiga. No. Amiga. no. Okay. Controversy led the German nuclear energy project during World War II. I think he is most famous for a, a principle, but I'm not certain. <laughs> Fraser. No. No, no, nothing to work. Come on. I'm the man who calls. <laughs>
Eisenberg. 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 With that hat as well. Eisenberg. And the glasses, that's why I put them the on. The uncertainty <laughs> principle is much better. Or in quiz, anyway. <laughs> Which international photographic cooperation was founded in 1947 by Frenchman Hon Henri Cartier Bresson and Hungarian Robert Kappa, amongst others? So, Drax? Zeiss? No. Yeah. One. We're into the finals of the uh, Lightspeed Quiz 2016, number three at Rochdale. We've got Sam, who's going to be asking this first set of questions to the Riff Raff. Give us a wave, Riff Raff. Good question. I think it's the last one. Whose masterpiece, the 1924 American epic silent film Greed, based on McTeague by Frank Norris and starring Zazu Pitt, was taken out of his hands and ruthlessly cut to less than a third of the original length of almost eight hours. Some of the few people who have seen the original full-length version call it the greatest film ever made. In time, he got less work due to his huge budget requirements and insistence on complete control, but is considered one of the early great directors. This Austrian-American's plight was shown on the film Sunset Boulevard when he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for playing a butler who was once a top director. <laughs> no? Anyone? No! Oh, children? Okay. Kafka? No. No, no. 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 Anyone in the room? Fraser? Wait, Yep. Eric Von Straw. Great set. Well researched. Well written. Going straight on with Matt Laycock for another 20. Hopefully we'll squeeze these out. Keep your eyes on those screens, will you, Michael, to make sure none of them knock out. If they do... I can see. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Steve? You keep it out from that screen as and well. We're doing this one. Yeah. We're doing four. We're doing sixty all We're doing twenty now. Uh, have we done the done first twenty? Yeah. yeah. We'll do another twenty, and then you come back to twenty more. We'll have a little break. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. okay. Hmm, sadly, none of the people I wrote these for are in this, but never mind. Anyway, question one: Exit, Mystical, Mike Balls, Billy Webb, and Two Hats are all members of which Welsh hip hop collective? <laughs> Goldie looking chain. Question two. Which artist associated with the Falvist and Cubist movements became in 1961 the first living artist to have his work on display at the Louvre in Paris? <laughs> George Brack. <laughs> Question three. Discovered in 1823 by the Reverend William Buckland during an archaeological dig at the Goat's Hole Cave on the Gower Peninsula, at 33,000 years old, it is perhaps the subject of the oldest ceremonial burial known to man. At first thought to be female, it has now been proven to be the remains of a young man. What name is given to this ochre coloured skeleton? No? The Red Lady of Paviland. Taylor Michael Rotunda is a professional wrestler who wrestles for the WWE under the name Bo Dallas. Under what name does his brother Wyndham Lawrence Rotunda wrestle for the same company? Rhodes? Or Texas? No. Mike? No. Colin? No. I don't think I'll get it. No, I don't think I'll get it. Chilton? No, it's called the uh, IRS. No. That's, that's his dad. That's his dad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Definitely fall in the bracket stuff you must know. That is uh, Bray Wyatt. It's Bray Wyatt. Did you do his grandson as well? Or did you go fall into this one? The royalty were all over that one, Phil Motsch. <laughs> right, question five. A drawing of a penis by Andy Warhol, a piece of lava from Devil's Lake in Oregon, two golf balls, a golden olive branch, at least 12 tyres and six US flags are amongst objects. Colin? Moon. Yes. Moon. <laughs> I like it. Tokyo Yakult, correct, question six. Tokyo Yakult Swallows, Fukuoka Softbank Hawks, 
Hiroshima Toyo Car. Preston. Baseball. Baseball. Go on, Mark. They're all professional baseball teams in Japan. In Wales. Yeah. <laughs> Question seven. The Atomium in Brussels, built for the 1958 Brussels World Fair, forms the shape of a crystal of which chemical element? Rhodes. Helium. Mike. Hydrogen. No. Further. Oxygen. No oxygen. Chilton. Carbon. Not carbon. Crax. Uh, chlorine. Not chlorine. Colin. Uranium. Not uranium. Preston. Ammonia. No ammonia. That's a hell. Simple. It's as simple as iron. Uranium. It's an iron crystal. Tough one. Question eight. Barbara Dixon, Pauline Campbell Jones, Matthew Chinnery, and Edward and Tubbs Tatty Syrup. Words. The League of Gentlemen. Question nine. His entry on the adult film Internet Adult Film Database lists more than two thousand films in which he has appeared. And he prison. Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. Oh, what's Ron Jeremy? How would you go to? I don't know because John Holmes never did two thousand films. <laughs> 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 no, he, he died very young, did John Holmes? No way you could have put the work in the Ron Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Question ten. 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 It has two carriages competing against each other on a single. <laughs> the Grand National. The Grand National. I've gone. I don't know what you're talking about. That. Pleasure Beach. Pleasure Beach. Ah, ah oh, that Grand thank you. Sam, you were puzzled as well. Come on. Yeah. Question eleven. Codenamed Operation Stalemate Two. The battle for which Pacific Island was fought from September to November 1944 and resulted in the deaths of 1,508 American <laughs> children. Okinawa. No, Okinawa. <laughs> we finished. We finished. No, we don't finish. Is it? Preston. Iwo Jima. No, Iwo Jima. Oh, I've been with you on that. Tracks on the way. Fraser. Guadalcanal. No, Guadalcanal. And. 10,900 10, Japanese troops. No, on shoes. Heli Leu. There's a lot of good answers there, you know, which you nod your head and say, go on, that's going to be right. Question 12. Which Steve found an Apple Computers? Rhodes. Job. Not Jobs. <laughs> not finished. <laughs> Preston. Preston. Alan. No. Drax. Oh. Drax. Uh, Ward. No. Colin. Wasn't Wasn't Found an Apple Computers in 1976 along with Steve Jobs. Can I say that? That's a great question. There's a difference between a trick question and a swerve question. Trick questions are legitimate because there's two things in there and that was such a good question. Because a real expert quiver will know there was two Steve's involved. Not that I did. It was a swerve. That was a very, very good question. I think it's a compliment to Colin. I think it's a cute idea. It's, 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 it's a subtle difference, but that was a good question. Right, question 13. Tommy Vercetti. Carl C.J. Johnson and Trevor Phillips have all been the main protagonists in which instalment of uh, main protagonists in instalments of which video game franchise? Mike. No. Woods. Yes. My only answer for video is this. Oh, it's Grand Theft Auto. Theft Auto. C.J. Question 14. The songs Keep It Gay, Where Did We Go Right, and Springtime for Hitler. Oh. The producers. The producers. Question 15. Nicknamed The Wolfman and famed for bearing his backside in a shop window after a win against Manchester United, <laughs> Bernie Slavin. 
Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to creep in there. The question 16. In the name of the famous New York nightclub record store clothing label and music festival, what does the acronym CBGB stand for? Jack knows. Nobody got it? Right. Jack. Country Bluegrass. Yeah. Country Bluegrass Blues. Yeah. Question 17. Which French wine grower from the Gironde region in the southern part of the Bordeaux vineyards is the only sauterne grower to carry the Premier Cru Superior classification? It also produces its own unique blend of Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc, known as Ygrec. Chateau Iquem. Chateau Iquem. What? Where did that go? Never heard of it. He's a wine merchant. Oh, I'll take it. No, he's like it. It looks like it. I asked that question to my mum and dad, they got it after the Premier Crew Superior. I thought it was, but I wasn't losing the points and still going to see something. Question 18. One of the closest stars to Earth at 68 light years, it is the brightest star of the constellation Taurus. Who are Taurus? Chilton? Aldebaran. Aldebaran. Yeah. Yeah. Is that so close? Yeah. yeah. You've been. Yeah, 68 light years. 68 light years, there's yeah. 4 million, yeah. there's 4 million, yeah. yeah. four light years. Yeah. Question 19. After falling to Earth in the nursery rhyme, where did the man in the moon <laughs> Norwich? Norwich. <laughs> <laughs> Question twenty. If someone suffers from polydactylism, <laughs> what Mike? Too many fingers. Hmm? Too many fingers. Yeah, extra fingers or toes. Correct. I don't think I've got too many fingers. Yeah. My, my answer to that was gonna be safe. Right, have a break. We've got about twenty more questions for you in five minutes when we've all got a drink. Okay. We're on the, the final stretch of the Riff Raff uh, final, which basically is sorting out pages, uh, people uh, between 8th and 14th place. Currently in the lead, but not by much, it's a joint lead between Simon Chilton and Steve yeah, Rhodes, but Colin Daffer is so far in front, his numbers shrunk, it's 20, so Colin, look forward to 8th place. Welcome to the Lightspeed Quiz. We've got uh, asking questions is uh, Jack Bennett. If you're watching this quiz in a couple of weeks' time, you may have seen him on the Universe Challenge the week before. He hasn't told us what's happened, but uh, he's well, we an absolute star in the University oh, Challenge, along with his mate Wainwright, who he's going to bring to one of these quizzes one day, no doubt. We're all pulling for you, Jack. So uh, enjoy the questions and thank you for coming. Uh, John Pond, James Badley, Richard Van Der Eek Woolley, William Christie, Neville Masculin, Martin Rees and John Flamsteed, among the 15 people to have held the Good. I'll be one away. One second, I'll just get these done. Drax? Um, Royal Observer. No. Um, quick, 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 quick. Head of the Royal Observatory. Quick, quick, quick. No. Oh, so, Astronomer Royal. Oh, come on. Oh, come, on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Have you seen it? 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 I'm trying to, because that's what I do all the time. I've got to give it. Oh, just one minute. I'll do nothing yet. Good luck, Jack. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good William Dobbin is a character in this Victorian novel that took its title from John Bunyan's A Pilgrim's Progress. Joseph Sedley is a nabob. He made a respectable fortune as a collector in India. Primarily following the lives of two women, Amelia Sedley and Becky Sharp. Colin Paterson. Uh, tall and powerfully built, this man was his country's light heavyweight boxing champion from 1951 to 1960. He was married at least five times and divorced at least three. Portrayed in a 2006 film by Forrest Whitaker, he succeeded Milton Woods. Yeah. 
The first recorded ascent of this mountain was in 1897 by Matthias Zerbergen. Not harder! Children? I, I can't gag you. This natural satellite is the sixth closest to its planet and the sixth largest moon in the solar system. Discovered in 1610 by Galileo Galilei, it was named after the mother of Minos of Crete, who became one of Zeus's lovers. Along with Aya. Children? Europa? Yeah. White cabbage, sauerkraut, tomato. Mike? Butterfly? Take Butterfly? No. White cabbage, sauerkraut, tomatoes, honey, mushrooms. What? It's as well as various cuts of meat are all used as principal ingredients in which hunters stew. Name checks in the country's national epic Pantadayush uh, that is frequently regarded as a national dish of Poland. You picked up the wrong one. No, that's the wrong one. Preston? Uh, Porsche? Yeah. Is it working? Goulash? We'll do a test after we know. Is that it then? Okay, it's big osh. Test uh, buzzer mark? Yeah, yeah just that time. The title of reference to a band of tobacco produced in Liverpool from, 19, from 1899 onwards. Which band released a 1968 concept album, Ogden's Nothing? Come on. Um, a 1985 comedy film starring Tim Coy and Madeleine Kahn was based on this game. <laughs> the Latin word for Earth. The Latin word for Earth gave which chemical element the atomic number fifty-two its name. Right. Colin? Terrinium. No. Terrinium. 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 Which capital of Anabhetch, the first gnome of ancient Egypt, shares its name in one of the USA's largest cities? Prison. Memphis. Born in Philadelphia in 1924, which American film director, best known for 12 Angry Men, directed Dog Day Afternoon and Dog Day Afternoon. What moniker links the four politicians who issued the Limehouse Declaration with the post punk group from the This city of Lombardy, Italy, is the birthplace of many historical figures, including the poet Sicilius, Pliny the Elder and the Younger, Pope Innocent XI and Alessandro Volta, which city of approximately 85,000 people. Present. Verona. No. Good. Preston. Torino. Genoa. Uh, Chilton. Monza. Colin. Naples. Come on. The 1956 Winter Olympics were held in which Italian town at the base of the Dolomitic Alps that also served as a backdrop to the 1981 James Bond film for your eyes only. Colin. Chamino. No. Chilton. Cortina Don Peso. The Museum of Bad Art, whose stated aim is to celebrate the labour of artists whose work will be displayed and appreciated in no other form, has two branches, both of them in which US state. Mike. Mm. Texas. Drax. No. Chilton. New York. Fraser. Kansas. Preston. Pennsylvania. Collins, New Jersey, Massachusetts. 
What term denotes an impression formed by the collapse of land after a volcanic eruption was first mentioned by the German geologist Christian Leopold von Buck. In 1868, John Everett Millay painted Esther Van Homwey, Jonathan Swift's correspondent and long-time lover. What was this woman's pseudonym? Also the title of the painting. Good. No. Also the title of the painting. Mike. Green woman. Vanessa. What was the name given to the series of violent political confrontations between the free, so free soilers and border ruffians in two states of the USA between 1854 and 1861? Bleeding Kansas. What? Bleeding Kansas. Originally built for the 1964 Summer Olympics judo competition, which arena in central Tokyo has played host to several artists live on <laughs> Colin <laughs> In 1851, the German entrepreneur and former bank clerk established a news agency, the London Royal Exchange. Still in existence. Good. How many events now? Sorry? I don't know how many events. Uh, 20 in total, you need to do a good. Well, I'll mind if you can't see from here, can we? No, you won't be able to see. Sorry, you can just count the poll. Just count the twos. And, uh, yeah, but we've got. Well, well, but actually. Some yeah. that weren't got right at all. Yeah. Yeah, but you only get. And it's one, it's Steve, you can count them up manually. We're good. Steve, That's you only get one two per question. Now, so I got five more. Five, five more, yeah. yeah. Like it up, got five more. Which term from the Greek for leadership or rule uh, refers to a form of imperial dominance in which a leader states govern their subordinate states by threat of implied force? Mike? Totalitarian? Which year is sometimes known as a year of Africa? Due to major events, particularly the independence of 17 nations, that focus global attention on the continent. Colin? 1962. No. Mike? 1983. No. Grax? 59. No. Woods? 61. Preston? 1964. No. 19. Carter? 1966. Chilton? 67. No. 1960. Nice. I'm stranded. It's named roughly translating into English as the land of the well fed oxen. It was the second largest Greek island. <laughs> the first king of Persia's Achaemenid Empire, who supposedly met his death in a fierce battle with the Massagetanes, a tribe from the southern desert of the Khwarezm and Kaisal Khan. Children. Darius. Drax. Cyrus the Great. The songs of fine romance, smoke gets in your eyes, and the way you look tonight. Fraser. Paul Porter. Is that right? Well, it was John Kerr, but which. Yes, sorry. That's tied, isn't it? It's tied up. So, was only going to say Jerome Kern? I did so. I would have said Jerome Kern. Yeah. 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 So, two points for him. Yeah. Busting early, minus one. Oh. <laughs> and that means that you've drawn with Mike. <laughs> you would have beat them if you hadn't busted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's the way it goes.